Are you familiar with this? Let me tell you why this plate is magic. When moving from qPCR to dPCR, when moving from a plate to droplets or crystals in a chip, when you can actually stay with a plate and also stay with the different advantages you're used to from a plate-based workflow. In dPCR, as you know, it's about counting positives and negatives, so a yes and no. It's about the dPCR reaction which you partition into thousands of individual reactions. One way of doing it is oil. So you form droplets in a water oil emulsion. DDPCR or droplet digital PCR, or you can call them crystals and put them into a chip. So DDPCR is okay, but time to result takes time and workflow and handling is not the best. But how to improve it? It's the nanoplate. The KaiQD nanoplates makes DPCR fast and easy. Two hours time to result, the same workflow and handling such as in qPCR and everything happens and stays inside the nanoplates. The other big advantage is that you can take an image and actually can see all the positives and negative partitions, so having not only a table with counts. The KaiQT nanoplates are actually kind of a piece of molding art. The nanoplate I have in my hand is a 26K nanoplate and it has actually 26,384 partitions per reaction. In total, over the whole plate, because it's a 24-well plate, we have more than 600,000 partitions, which is QC'd, by the way. It's 100% QC, so we check every single plate which is produced. Partition or droplet volume is usually a topic for experts. Do you do DDPCR? Do you actually measure your droplet sizes? I've got two nanoplates in my hand, and you can see here many more. And these plates and also the partitions between the plates are the same. You might ask now, what about future plates, future batches from other stampers or molding forms? Kaijin is taking care. We introduced the VPF. This volume precision factor is batch specific and defines the exact volume for your concentration calculation. So you're safe for future plate batches. In addition, the VPF is taking care if your potential variation inside a single nanoplate so the VPF is here reaction-specific volume definition. This brings another level of precision for digital PCR. With the nanoplates, we've got the specifications within the plate. 26,000, 8,500 partitions, 24 or 96 wells. So you can choose what you need, or we can build what you might need in future. The channels and partition sizes allow that single cells fit in there. So I'm really curious which future experiments and applications you come up with. Now you know why this plate is magic. Up next in digital PCR, absolute not relative, you understand how wastewater is connected to dPCR. Stay tuned. Kyogen. Sample to insight.